Photosynthesis generates the food and energy plants need for survival and growth. It is a complex process that is a wondrous and technically amazing feat of nature. Photosynthesis takes place mainly in the leaves of plants, and it happens in two stages. These stages are known as light-dependent reactions and light-independent reactions. Let's start with the light-dependent reactions. Leaves contain chloroplasts, which contain chlorophyll. Within the chloroplasts are small disc-like structures called thylakoids. The light-dependent reactions take place and happen on the thylakoid membranes. During light-dependent reactions, sunlight is absorbed by two photosystems. A photosystem is a protein complex that acts as a reaction center for the chemical processes of photosynthesis. The photosystems are embedded in the thylakoid membrane and are called photosystem 2 and photosystem 1. Light-dependent reactions begin in photosystem 2. When sunlight hits chlorophyll in photosystem 2, it excites an electron and raises it to a higher energy level. The electron is passed down the electron transport chain. Can you see the small yellow spots on this guy? These are the excited electrons being carried. In order for the light reactions to continue, the electron passed needs to be replaced. Electrons are replaced by breaking apart water molecules into free electrons, hydrogen ions, and oxygen gas. As you can see here, oxygen gas is created after the water molecules are broken into pieces. Oxygen is then released through the stomata of a leaf as a waste product. As electrons pass through the electron transport chain, the energy from the electron is used to pump hydrogen ions from the stroma to the thylakoid. Then, what will those hydrogen ions do in the thylakoid? If enough hydrogen ions gather in the thylakoid, this concentration gradient powers a protein called ATP synthase, which produces energy-rich ATP molecules. As you can see here, if there are a lot of hydrogen ions inside the thylakoid, they start to escape the thylakoid. This flow powers the ATP synthase. Getting back to the electron transport chain, now we know that the energy from the electrons is used to pump hydrogen ions, right? When these low energy electrons are shuttled to photosystem 1, they are re-energized and are used to reduce NADP plus to NADPH, which means this NADP plus reductase receives high energy electrons from photosystem 1, and these electrons are joined to this blue NADP plus and then it becomes this yellow NADPH. When the chloroplast is receiving a steady supply of photons, NADPH and ATP molecules are being provided, and they are used in the stroma to fuel sugar assembly during the second stage of photosynthesis called Calvin cycle. Calvin cycle takes NADPH and ATP from the light-dependent reactions and carbon dioxide. It performs further chemical processes and eventually produces glucose. Then, those glucose molecules are transported throughout their system. In the Namu world, you can play with the cell or other parts of plants, like roots or flowers turning into fruits. Download the Namu app and have loads of fun exploring wonders of plant life.